Okay, welcome to Centering and Strengthening. Let's take our feet out to a small turnout, about shoulder width apart, and breathe it up three times. Take it up and down, two more up and down, last time up and down, and we go side to side. Good. Just take your, this is a, a warm up to warm your muscles up, not to really stretch at this point. So just feel the flow. There we go. Good. Six, five, four, three, two. Now reach up, reach, turn, reach, turn. Put that toe into the floor. Yeah, you got it. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Lift uh, foot, right knee. Left step, right knee. And three, and four, and five, and six, and seven. And on eight, we hold that quad stretch. Eight, bring it behind. Take your arm up if you need to for balance, or hold on to something if you need to. And then bring it back. Right step, left knee. Two, good. Three, good. Four, five, six. Seven, here comes our quad stretch. Eight, bring it behind. Some days we get the balance, some days we don't. Pull the belly in, great. And bring it back. We're gonna go side to side. You have very wide legs here. Good, nice. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Hold it over here. Those toes are up on that side. Your knee is over your ankle. You're gonna take your left hand across to your right ankle and open up, reach, reach. So now we're stretching and lift up and take it to the other side, reach, reach. Nice. And take it back to the middle. You're going to put your chest through the middle to stretch your back out. And then bring yourself up, heel and toe, heel and toe, heel and toe. And then hands on the thighs for a nice strong back, or you can have it down on your calves. Curl up through that. Good, and side to side. Good, you got it. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, and two, and one. Now reach it up and up and up and up. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. And one in the center, soften your knees, roll your shoulders back. Two, three, and four, and reverse it. One, make sure you complete each cycle. Three, and four, bring the arms around for a big wide chest. Good. Release the arms, take your left hand onto your right ear and take it over, make sure you're back far enough for that complete pull. And then over to the other side. Great, and then breathe it up three times. Take it up and down, two more. Good, and last one. Let's do inner and outer. So inside to outside. So we start with squats and we work our way out to pliates and we work our way back in. Four cycles, 30 reps on the first set and then 20 after that. And there'll be variations, okay? So let's do 30. Now when you squat, you sit back, right? Your knees stay over your ankles. You feel yourself move back to your heels, right? Good. So you want to feel the toes almost lift off the floor. Seven, eight. That will be a pulse at the end of this one. Nine, 10, 20 more. One and two. So you exhale up, right? Three, make sure you hit that mark, drop those shoulder blades. Four, five, six. I know you can do weights in your hands here if you want to. Eight, well, that's not eight. That'll be eight. Nine, and 10 to go. 10, don't swing your pelvis forward, right? You just tighten your belly. Eight, seven, six, good. Five, perfect. Four, three, really get hard when you push back. Now here comes your pulse. Now you're pushing back. Make sure those knees, nothing happens there. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 
eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, and curl it up. Your next position, you open your legs out just a little more. They still stay to the front. This is a more open squat, hip width squat. Let's do 30. One, good. Two, three, you got it. Four, five. Again, you want to feel the same thing. Um, you want to feel that pushback, the lift in the front of the feet. Good. And now you have 20 more. 20, 19, good. 18, so this is our warm up set. 17, 16, 15, 14, the feet are still parallel. 13, bring yourself all the way up and stop. 12, pull it in. Uh, 11, 10, 9, perfect. 8, got it. 7, 6, so you, you want to monitor your knees to make sure they're not uh, getting hit too much, right? So if you need to move in or out, that's fine. I'm gonna say three more, three, because I lost count, two. Let's pulse it. Sit back, 20, 19, sit back, 18, 17, 16. So you should actually feel your feet lifting. 13, 12, 11, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, and curl it up. Now the next one's a goblet squat. Not everybody can do this, do what you can. You take your feet a little beyond shoulder width apart. You have a slight turnout. You wanna come below your knees. Take it down and one, we go slower. Down and two, because I want you to reach it. Go ahead, down, reach all the way, three. Down and four. Down and five. Down and six. Seven, eight, good job. Nine, perfect. 10, now we're gonna talk about our arms. 10, or 20, 19. You can have your hands on your thighs, that's fine, but watch the shoulders creeping up, right? 17, so the shoulders should creep up. So if you're gonna have them on your hands, let your hair or on your legs, let them slide down as you go down so those shoulders don't hike up. Keep going. 14, so sliding down. The other option, of course, 15, uh, 13, 12, is to reach out and then you get some extra shoulder work. 11, 10, 9, good. 8, so don't brace them. 7, 6, nice. 5, 4, 3, 2, good. And sit back there on one, push it back, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, and 2, and 1, and curl it up. Our final position is out to our plie. So you take it out into your big number two. Make sure your knees come out over your second toes. Let's use our arms on this. We got 30. One, two, three, four. So you're exhaling up, right? Five. Keep going. Six. I can't do this with socks on. Seven, eight, nine. You got it. Ten. Twenty more. One. There we go. Two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, good. Nine, are you getting down there? 10 to go, nice. 10, nine, good. Eight, perfect. Seven, six, good. Five, four, good job. Three, two, and one. Hold it down here for 20, 19. 18, 17. Now, as you push down, you push down the middle, keep going, but you don't push the knees past the feet. So you've got to make sure your feet are out in that position where you maintain that alignment of the ankle to the knee. Let's go 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 
and one. We're not finished with cycle one. It also includes coming back. And then we go to cycle two. So let's finish cycle one, coming back 30 more at the plies. One, good. Two, you got it. Four, five, six, good. Seven, hit your mark every time. Eight, nine, 10, 20, 19, good. 18, head over tailbone, belly button to the spine. 17, 16, how much do I say that in one week? 15, 14, 13, 12, good. 11, 10, nine, you got it. Eight, seven, six, good. Five, four, good job. Three, and two, here we go. 20, 19, 18, 17, keep it square. 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Next position is our goblet squat. We bring it in, slight turn up, 30 here. Make sure it's beyond the shoulders though. One, good, two, nice, three, four. This one's slower, right? Five, we have further to travel because we're going below our knees, six, seven, if you can. If you can't, that's fine, eight. Just do what you need to do, nine, 10, 20 more, 20, 19, good job, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, I made him mad because he was biting himself and I made him stop. Seven, if you were biting yourself, I do the same to you. Six, five, all the way down. Four, three, good. Two, here comes our 20. Let's go. 20, 19, 18, 18 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, Nine, so you should feel this right in that inner thigh. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Wide angle squat. Take it in, hip width apart, straight back for 30. Remember, slide the arms down and bring them out. One, good. Two, three, you got it. Four, nice. Five, six, Seven, eight, good, nine, and you've got 20 more. Nice, 20, push back, 19, 18, pull that belly in, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, you've got it. 10, we've got that breathing. Nine, good job. Eight, perfect. Seven, six, five, four, nice. Three, two, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, bring it up. All right, sit bone with our final part of cycle one. One, two, I think we may only be able to do three cycles, four, because it's already 15 after, four, five, if we're gonna get anything else done today, six, seven, eight, nine, Good, 20 more, let's go. 20, 19, good, 18, 17, 16, 15, 
14, 13, good job, 12, 11, 10, 9, perfect, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, good job, 3, 2, let's go, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, push back, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, and 2, and 1, and bring it up. Cycle 2. We're going to lift our right heel off the floor as we go out, our left heel off the floor as we come in. So we're also going to add halfway all the way. So let's take it down. Half, down, and only 20. One, no pulses. Half, two, half, down, half, three, half, down, half, four, half, down, half, five, half, down, half, six, half, down, half, seven, half, down, half, eight, half, down, half, nine. Keep going. Don't let that other knee collapse in. Ten. So as you go down, it has a tendency to pull in. Make sure you keep a train right back to that back booty. Half is down, half 12. So if you feel your knee coming in, you got to focus on pushing back. 13 and up. 14 and up. 15. You've got it. 16. Good job. 17. Bravo. 18. And good. 19. And 20. Nice. Lower the heel. Take yourself to hip width apart. Raise that heel again. Make sure you get positioned first. Half down, half one. Half down, half two. Half down, half three. Half down, half four. This is the part of the class that's strengthening as well as centering. Good. Seven. Nice. Eight. You got it. Nine. Nice job. We got 10 more. Beautiful. 10. Nice. Nine. Good. Eight. Perfect. Seven. Good. Six. Don't swing it forward and watch the action of the other leg. Five. Good. Four. Perfect. Three. Two. And one. Let's put that foot down. Take those legs open a little bit wider. Turn them out. Lift the heel. Down, down, up. Good. Down, down, up. Two. Down, down, up. Three. Down, down, up. Four. Down, down, up. Five. Down, down, up. Six. Down, down, up. Seven. Down, down, up. Eight. Down, down, up. Nine. Down, down, up. Ten to go. Down, down, up. One. Down, down, up. Two. Down, down, up. Three. Down, down, up. Four. Down, down, up. Five. Down, down, up. Six. Down, down, up. Seven. Eight. Good. Nine. Ooh. And 20. Lower that heel, take it out into a plie. Arms out to the side, let's go. Lift the right heel, down, down, up, one. Down, down, up, two. Down, down, up, three. Down, down, up, four. Inhale and exhale, six. Nice, seven. 
Eight, good. Nine, good. 10 more, 10, nine. So make sure you feel that grab halfway, seven. So it should be six, grabbing in those thighs. Five, four, three, two, and one. Now, halfway through this cycle, we're gonna lift the other leg, make sure you stay in center. 20 with the left foot lifted, heel lifted. One, down, down, up, two, down, down, up, three, down, down, up, four, down, down, up, five, down, down, up, six, down, down, seven, down, down, up, eight, down, down, up, nine, down, down, up, 10, 10 more, good, nine, eight, push it, seven, six, down, down, five, four, three, good. two, and one, and bring it up, all right. Bring those legs together, slight turnout, not a huge turnout. Lift the left heel, global squat, down, down, up, up for 20. Down, down, up, one, down. Did I say global or goblet? Two, goblet, down, down, up, three, down, down, up, four, down, down, up, five, down, down, up, six, down, down, up seven, down, down, up eight, down, down, up nine, down, down, up 10 more, down, 10, nine, eight, good, seven, got it, six, you got it, five, Four, all the way down. Three, you've got it. Two, and one. You know, if your back starts to hurt, bring it into open leg wide squat, hip width. Make sure you keep yourself lifted and don't go down as far or adjust it another way. All right, left heel off. Down, down, up, one. Down, down, up, two, down down, up, three. We get to get calf work a lot today, or this week. Good. Six coming up. Seven. Good. Eight, you got it. Nine. Perfect. 10 more. You still wish you were doing 30s, I know. 10. Somebody do the math for me someday of how many we actually do. Nine. Eight. Seven, good, six, perfect, five, four, good job, three, two, and one. Final part of cycle two. All right, sit bone, lift the leg up, make sure you rotate backwards. One, down, up. Down, down, this is two. Down, down, this is three. Down, down, this is four. Down, down, this is five. Down, down, this is six. Make sure you're going back, seven. So pushing into your knee, keep going. There's more of a temptation when your knee is bent with that lifted heel. So make sure you're pushing back. Uh, let's say 10 more, 10. Good, nine, good, push back, eight, don't push into that knee, good, seven, six, five, good, four, three, good, two, and one. Okay, our last cycle, put your, Feet down, we're going down for three, 
up for one, doing it for 20, then our pulse is gonna be with both heels off the floor. So when we get down to our pulse, we're gonna lift both heels. But for now, it's down for three, up for one. So it's back, two, three, that's one. Back, two, three, that's two. Back, two, three, that's three. Back, two, three, you got four. Back, two, three, you got five. Back, two, three, six. I'm always checking my parallel feet, seven, to see if nothing drifts out slightly. It can be ever so slightly. Let me get a little closer. Uh, you can just turn a little bit like that. And I look down and I have to correct it. So you wanna make sure that you're always looking at what your form is like. So 10, one, nine, two, three, eight, two, three, seven, and they drift without my noticing it. Anybody else have that issue? Six, two, three, five, two, three. Those toes should be lifting. Four, two, three, three, two, three, two, two, three. Last one, hold it down there. Heels off the floor, pulse it. 20, 19, 18, 17, push back, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, eyes ahead on the floor, 3, 2, and 1, and bring it up. So when we come back to that, that's going to end our cycles. All right, part number two, open hip with a part, down for three, up for one. One, two, three. So one of the things that's easy to do when you're doing this, which kind of messes up your squat, is hinging at the hip and having your chest face the floor. Keep going. Make sure that your chest is always in this incline toward the ceiling, right? So one, two, three, six. One, two, three, seven. One, two, three, eight. One, two, three, nine. Push it back. Two, three. Feel those toes lift up. One, two, three, ten. One, two, three, nine. One, two, three, eight. One, two, three, seven. One, two, three, six. One, two, three, five. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, three. One, two, three, two. Take it down here. Come off your heels. Pulse it. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Let's open it to our goblet squat. Outside your shoulders, a little bit of a turnout. 3 and 1. 1, 2, 3, that's 1. 1, 2, 3, you got 2. So in this one, your back is dropping more down into a line, 3. So it's not as tilted forward, 4. But if you need to adjust it, 5, 1, 2, 3, 6. Do what you need to do without overstretching seven, any other part of your body. Three, eight, one, two, three, nine, one, two, three, ten to go. One, two, three, ten, one, two, three, nine, one, two, three, eight, one, two, three, seven, one, two, three, six, one, two, three, five, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, three, one, two, three, two, and we're down here off the heel and pulse at 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 
seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Bring it up. I have bad news. This has to be our last set because it's already 7.30 and we want to get some of our Pilates in. So turn it out. Make sure you have your uh, plie position, upper body lifted. We're coming down for a three count. One, two, three, that's one. One, two, three, that's two. One, two, three, that's three. One, two, three, you got four. One, two, three, five. One, two, three, six. One, two, three, seven. I guess this, if I had it eight, keep going. If I had done this in nine, as the way I designed it, it would have been the whole class. 10, one, two, three, 10, one, two, three, nine, one, two, three, eight, one, two, three, seven, one, two, three, six, one, two, three, five, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, three, one, two, three, two, and bring it down here, heels off the floor. Let's go, both sides, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, and 2, and bring it up on one. Let's take those legs out. Good. Walk them out, walk them out, walk them out. Put your left heel into the floor. Come back on a bend on your knee on the, and the right. Drop your shoulders and switch. We'll get more stretches later. We're going to go down to the mat. All right, bring one weight with you. It can be light, it doesn't have to be heavy. All right, just one weight. We pick a pink one. And we're gonna get in Pilates position to begin. So it's really important that we find our position before we do a thing. So sit up at the end of your mat and bring yourself down in a curl. Nice, and lift your glutes up, take them down the mat. Walk your shoulders up, get your belly button to your spine without pushing your lumbar into the floor. So inhale up and exhale down. Make sure that powerhouse is still there, right? Abs up and under the ribcage. Simultaneous to pushing your belly button to the spine. Inhale up, exhale up and under. Good job. Finally, close the ribcage. You wanna push them out to the side on an inhale and bring them in. So what you basically do is you push, tuck, and close. That's kind of the whole thing. That zips up the whole abdominus rectus and opens up your back to more flexibility and to receive some of that core juice. You really wanna do that. So we're gonna start with some simple lifts. Uh, if you can do a curl up, that means you're looking between your legs. If you're looking at the ceiling even a little bit, please put your head down onto the mat. And you grab your weight into one hand. I'm putting it in my hand that's away from the camera because I'm gonna to reach toward the camera. So right leg to tabletop and left leg to tabletop. Inhale, chin above chest, exhale, look out through those legs. <clears throat> so you're gonna take the uh, front leg, the one opposite your weight, and lift it lower just like that for 22, three, four, five. So what this has helped doing six is kind of wreck all that static work we did. Seven, eight, so you want to make sure nine, you get some action here. Ten more. Good. Ten, nine, eight, pull your belly button to the spine. Seven, six, good job. Five, four, three, two, now hold it up there on one, take this weight, take it across. Now we've been parallel for the last half hour, so we're gonna do some uh, rotations. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 
And one, now we're gonna turn this into shoulder work. Bring it toward the camera, bring it parallel to your chest. One, good. Two, nice. Three, you got it. Four, so it's side and back deltoid. Five, good. Six, you can put your head down for this if you want to. Seven, or you can keep holding that abdominus erect this eight. Nine, keep that leg up. Ten more. Ten, good. Nine, good. Eight, perfect. Seven, good. Six, five, four, good job. Three, just right over your shoulder. You don't want to go past. And one, once you hand it to that other leg, lower your head briefly, lower that foot, get yourself repositioned and curl yourself up. You're lifting the opposite leg. One, good. Two, you got it. Three, four, five, six, seven. I'm gonna turn around. Eight, you got it. Nine, 10 more. 10, good job. Nine, eight, perfect. Seven, six, five, four, it's over here. Three, good, anticipating two, and hold it up here on one, here it goes. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. We get to the front. Again, you can lie down. One. It might be hard on your neck to be turned that way. So three. So take that opportunity to lie down. Four. Five. Are your legs still in position? Six. Seven. Hit your mark at the top. Eight. Nine. You've got it. Ten. Ten more. Ten. Nine. Perfect. Eight. Nice. Seven, six, five, four, good job. Three, two, and one. Put those legs down and put the weight into both hands. You're gonna take it overhead and you're gonna do your curl up with it. So starting with the supported curl up with the legs bent. Now you can start with the legs all the way out if you're already there in your practice. We're gonna do this one with, your, with our reach. So we'll have a reach, a stretch, a reach, and then we'll bring it back down. So I'd like you to get started with that big inhale. Exhale, take it up into a reach. Your feet have gone out, stretch across those legs, take it back up into a reach, and slowly bring yourself down, bring those legs back in. Inhale, take it up into that reach. Street, stretch across those legs. Bring it back into the reach and bring it all the way back down. Again, we're working shoulders. Now I'm gonna take my legs all the way out, but you can keep yours bent. Inhale, exhale, bring it up, reach it, stretch it across, reach it back up and take it all the way back down. Let's talk about breathing just in case we haven't got it. Inhale here, exhale to reach. Inhale across, exhale to reach. Inhale at the top and exhale, bringing yourself all the way back down. Let's do it again. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Inhale, hold it here and exhale and bring it all the way back down. So you got the breathing. So curl it up, reach it up, stretch it across, reach it up, and then lower it back down. Make sure that your back coming back down is a curl the whole way. Lift, pull up, take it across, pull up, and bring it all the way back down. Last two. Nice. Take it, curl, bring it up, take it across, bring it up, and bring it back down. On the last one, we're going to stay up there. You might need your um, towel for your tailbone. Curl, take it up, reach it over, and take it up and hold it right there. We're gonna come back and up. 
down and up. Now, keep going. If this has complications on your back, I'd like you to take your feet into a bend. Down, because that protects the back, or just one. Down, and then halfway through, switch to the other side. All right, so find whatever works for you. So we're up here. Curl and reach. Curl and reach. Curl and reach. Curl. So when you say curl, you're pulling up under your, your rib cage and opening that back up. So it's a scoop out. It's not a crawl forward, right? It's a scoop into that back. Reach. Curl and reach. Last five. Nice. Four. Great. Three. And two. And hold it here on one. You're holding the reach. Bend your legs slightly. Take it side to side. Good. So on this one, you turn your entire upper body. So the twist is a whole upper body twist. It's not just the arms. I've seen people keep their chest forward and move their arms back and forth. That's shoulder work, but that's not oblique work. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, you got it, three, and two, both sides, one, and lower the weight onto the front side. Bring yourself around into your pike. We're gonna do some planchelles and triceps. So, you know the pike, going to bring your elbow and glutes back, your feet go forward, your knees go down, and your feet go up. That's right. All right, so you're gonna do the whole clamshell to begin. Let's put the arm up so we get our hips in our position that is stacked. One, we're going for 32, three, four. Are you resting too hard on that elbow? Five, put your hand out to the side or go all the way down here, right? This is also a possibility that you need to keep that position. All right, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, good, 8, push it, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1, lower it down, get the weight, put it on your nose, push it, 1, 2, Three. Now, if you're having trouble again with your elbow, come up onto your hand. Six, seven, eight, you can be here. Nine, as long as the form with the arm is perfect. 10, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, push it out. 11, 10, Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Lower it down, clamshell with the uh, extension. So open, extend, together, and one. This will just be 20. Together and two. Open, extend, together, and three. Open, extend, together, and four. Open, extend, together, and five. Open, extend, together, and six. Open, extend, together, and seven. Open, extend. So hit your mark, eight. Don't start to close it. Nine, before it even gets extended. 10, so slow it down if you need to. 10, good. Nine, hit it. Eight, I know if your legs are longer, it's harder to go at this speed, seven, six, five, you got it, four, good job, three, two, and one, and lower those legs, get that weight back on your nose, halfway, all the way, halfway, that's one, halfway, again, you can come down here, 
halfway or go all the way up. Two, halfway, all the way, halfway, that's four. Or you can be up here, halfway, all the way, halfway, six. I keep changing numbers, right? Seven, halfway, all the way, halfway, eight. Halfway, all the way, halfway, nine. Halfway, all the way, halfway, 10. Halfway, all the way, halfway, 10. Get more shoulder on this one, nine, eight, good, seven, six, good, five, four, you got it, three, nice, two, and one, good. Now, before we go to the other side, we're going to do a plank row. So, keeping the weight in that hand, please get into your tabletop. Let me do it sideways and you see it. Get into your tabletop. Make sure your hands under your shoulders, your knees are under your thighs, eyes are head on the floor. Extend one leg, extend the other leg, and you're going to try to row without twisting your body. So, you want your hands to be a little bit wide. One, two, only 20, three, four, five, Six, seven, you got it. Eight, come on. Nine, ten more. Ten, nine, good. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Okay. We're coming down to the clam on the other side. So we'll do the other row when we get, we're done with this. So get yourself back into that high position. Legs are forward, knees are down, feet are up. All right, let's go. One, good. Two, you got it. Three, stack those hips. Four, belly button to the spine. Five, so you exhale back, right? Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good job. Ten, or twenty, nineteen, eighteen. Make sure you hit your mark. Seventeen. 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Lower those legs, put the weight on the nose. Take it out and one right in front of you. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twenty more, twenty, nineteen, eighteen, seventeen, sixteen, fifteen, fourteen, thirteen. 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. And bring it down back to the clamshell with the extension. Open, extend, close, that's one only for 20. Extend, close, that's two. Open, extend, close, that's three. Open, extend, close, that's four. Five, six, you got it. Seven, eight, good job. Nine, make sure you hit your mark. Ten more, or ten, yeah, ten more. Ten, nine, stay in that point. Eight, don't let the ankle turn. Sometimes when we reach, we let the ankle turn, right? So make sure it stays parallel. Six, I think that's five, four, good. Three, two, and one, and bring it down. Let's go, halfway all the way. Again, you can take it all the way down or all the way up. Halfway, all the way, halfway, one, halfway, all the way, halfway, two. Halfway, all the way, halfway, three. Halfway, 
all the way halfway four five six seven eight you've got it nine good ten more ten nine good job eight right out in front you want to use that tricep seven six good should be talking to you now five four good job three two and one all right back to our plank our last thing because it's almost time to stretch so remember the position you want to be slightly wide armed you want to be definitely at least hip width apart in the leg so you don't rotate the body as you um row so take it out into a plank make sure your chest is between your hands one two three four five six seven come on eight nine ten more ten nine eight seven six five four three two and one leave that weight down there put your knees into the floor and sit back into child pose nice job sit really deeply keep the legs separated stretch it out Bring yourself up to tabletop. I want you to take your outside arm and stretch through the keyhole here. Lay your shoulder down onto the floor and get that stretch all the way through. And breathe into it. And then bring it back up. Take the other arm, curl it all the way through. Come on down. Good. You're resting and stretching at the same time. You don't collapse in the back of your body. It keeps you in this position. Don't push into that hand that's still on the floor and bring yourself back up. Now put the bottom of your feet together and your legs wide and sit back into child pose one more time. Back into it. Good. Bring yourself up, come over to one side, and lie your head down as you bring yourself into a quad stretch. And hold that position. Nice, breathe into it. Knee to the head, extend the leg up, rotate the ankle one direction, and then the other. Bring it as close to your head as possible. So the knee is actually facing your head this time, to look toward the front. You get this nice long stretch in there. Breathe into it, really give it a nice big tug. Use your power and your breath together. Then drop that foot in front of your other leg. You're going to bring yourself up and rotate into your spinal twist, putting your shoulder in your shoulder socket, head and shoulder tracks. Your head is lifted, your body's lifted, your spiral staircase. Inhale and exhale, lift, 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 lift. And inhale to prepare and exhale and bring yourself back around. And we're going down onto the other side. Same thing. We're going to extend our legs and bring the top leg into the, into the quad stretch right here. Feels so strong when you can lie down and really put the knees close to each other and get that extension in the front of your body. All right, knee to the head and lift that leg. Inhale and exhale and pull it down, pull it down, pull it down. We use all the strength and flexibility and breath combined to get the best, best, best stretch here. Breathe into it. Drop it down. You bring yourself up into your spinal twist. Arm comes across, other hand behind. Big inhale and exhale. Lift, 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 lift. Shoulder in the shoulder socket and hand should be close to the glute. And inhale to prepare. Come back to the center. Let's take our legs out into our straddle. You're on your sit bones. If you can't get on your sit bone, bend your knees a little bit. That'll make it happen automatically. Get your head over your tailbone. We're going to take the neck to one side. Bottom of the ear, remember. And up 
and other side, drop that shoulder, drop that shoulder, and up, roll the shoulders back. You did shoulders, you did a forward, and tricep, right hand behind the uh, right shoulder, press on the muscle, not the joint. Release it down, left hand behind left shoulder, press on the muscle, not the joint. We stopped going into the middle of the back a long time ago, right? And then bring both arms down. We're going to inhale through the middle. You're going to walk it out as far as you can, not letting your legs collapse over. So you want that interior stretch and that under the knee stretch. So if you let them collapse or pop up, you're going to lose the resistance that that naturally comes. So wherever you can go with that, it can be all the way up here. All we care about is whether you feel the stretch, right? So chest toward the floor, eyes ahead on the floor. So don't curl your head under. Some people kind of curl their head under looking between their legs. You really want to look between your arms. Good, hold that stretch. Feel that lift. Then push your arms nice and long so you get a long back. Walk it back. And then we're going to come back around to our tabletop and curl our toes under, taking our chest toward our thighs. This is the best leg stretch we can get after all that squatting and pinging. One knee forward, the other foot back. You can feel it really rip through the back of the hamstring. And then switch. Get that extension, push both heels down. I'm walking in. <clears throat> Grab your big toes and lift them. Get some vibration through that body. Let's talk to our nervous systems. Hands on the shins, flat back, drop your shoulder blades, and create an arch through there and curl yourself up. And washing machine can be, cannot be far behind. Let's do it. You've got it. Eight, seven, six, five. We didn't do a lot of different exercises, but we did a lot of intensities. Three and two and one. Come to the center. Breathe up and down. Two more up and down. And last time, thank you for coming. To